Hi there, Daryl. My name is Marcy Hutton, and I was speaking with Kelly, and he said that you were the one to shoot this video for. Now, what I'm going to show you are three things you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business through your uh, website. And as you can see here, um, this is this is the status of it. Uh, it doesn't uh, even though I refresh, I and unless it just doesn't like my my computer. However, I think that this is what's going on with your site right now. So, um, you know, you're probably wondering why it is that I even do this and what's in it for me. But what I found is that when it comes to internet marketing, most business owners are too busy running their business to learn how it can actually work to their benefit. And sometimes the only hesitation they have in hiring somebody to help them is they don't know who's an expert and who isn't, and possibly they had a bad experience in the past. So I found that by giving people an easy blueprint of actual things they can do to impact their business for free has resulted in some of those business owners still raising their hand and saying, no, no, I want you to do this, do this for me. So um, if you could see, you know, things like this, I come across things like this where you, you may not even be aware of what the heck is going on here. So if at the end of the video, you, you like what you've heard and if you can see that I got a few tricks up my sleeve that I may be able to help your business with then we can chat or if at the end of the video you simply want to take this information and and do it yourself that works for me too uh, either way it would uh, be great to great to hear your feedback now the three things that I'm going to go over are content citations and backlinks so I think what I'll do is maybe start with the citation so take me over in this page now what a citation is is it is a place where on the internet where you would find your exact business name address and phone number listed so like 411 and yellow pages and Yelp listings and this right here the Google Maps uh, Google my business listing is a citation so uh, the more that you have uh, 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 your business listed at, Google's going to see that, A, they're going to be out there crawling crawling the web and they're going to see you listed in all these businesses, so it definitely shows them that you're a legitimate business. And the second thing where it's going to help you is, is it's going to help if you have more citations than the rest of your, your competitors, it is going to help to push you up higher in these search results right here for the map section. And the statistics do show that probably 50% of the people clicking on the first page, uh, the clicks are going to these guys here that are showing up in, in the top three spot, obviously why they're selling ad space to be in, in that position. So that's where the citations come into play to help you. Um, the other two, content and citations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab because, or content and backlinks, I'm going to grab this guy. He's the, we call this section down here below the site, below the maps, um, the organic listings. So just meaning that sites are, you know, people are finding you organically rather than, than a paid ad. The paid ads they'll have right at the top at the bottom. But this one, of course, nobody's paying to have their website clicked on. So it's just the work that they've done that has them showing up in the first place page of the search. So this guy's the number one because here's just another directory, but he's the number one um, competitor. So I'm going to click on him and use his site. Then we can just talk about the content being that we can't don't have any idea what is going on with yours. So content is the images, the words, like what I'm highlighting. Everything that I highlight would be considered content for Google's purposes. And I just want to check what he's got going on. Now see how it just says strata? Probably somebody that's searching for your services isn't going to be typing in strata. So there's a missed opportunity. That's the type of thing. Google doesn't see when it crawls the web. It reads. It reads everything. So they like to see anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on a home page because that helps them out when they come in and they can match up. Their, their goal is to get, offer the best results to their searchers. That way, keeping them on their search engines because that's, of course, how they're making money. So they'll reward sites that have uh, keyword rich, authoritative, unique content on the home page and, and show them up higher in the search. Plus, again, you know, having having those pictures, it really does help to have another way to speak to them. You name the pictures in this particular uh, example here. When I found you today, I put in window replacement Vancouver. So that is likely something, a possibility somebody's going to be typing in there. So you can name, name your pictures in that regard. Um, the nice thing about the content, um, is it's, it's easy to beat the, you know, more, more citations, get a go out and get more citations. It's, 
pretty easy to beat most competitors because as you can see with these guys they don't have anywhere near that amount um so you know get better and more content on your on your website to help um, make it more visible and then taking us to the third thing the third thing are backlinks what's going on behind the scenes um what a backlink is is it's, it's uh because we can still see even though things aren't going right on the front of your page we can still see what's going back here so what a backlink is is it's when a third party site on the internet links to your site uh, the easiest, easiest way to explain how this all works and not get technical is to think of the internet as, as a big popularity contest. So when other sites vote for your site, aka link to your website, that in turn um, will push you up the search engine because Google is seeing you as being the popular one because other websites on the internet are paying attention to you. So this site shows us what's going on in with your backlink profile and uh, it shows us that you've got 41 other websites on the internet that are linking back to yours giving you 136 backlinks, that you're being found for 178 organic keywords and that you're getting you know approximately 80 visitors to your site organically so not through paid ads but they're just coming across and finding your site each each month so that's a shame that they're just seeing that white page if they're just seeing the white page like i am um so i compared that to that other guy that we had pulled up there he has 114 how many did you have to get 41. um now it it, it, it it should mention that all not not all links are created equal that's for sure it comes you know if it if it was quantity as opposed to um quality quality is always going to win so in this case uh yeah, i came across i was doing a different site earlier and one had you know 300 referring domains the other one had 40 and the one with 40 was bringing in far more for more traffic so yeah it's not it's not a sheer numbers thing here so this guy's got 114, 600 backlinks, 900 keywords, and about 300 visitors a month. So that's kind of how the how how those three things all work together: your citations, your content, your backlinks, in order to make you um, put you in front of more potential customers. So I'm gonna send this off uh, to you, Daryl, and I will follow up. I'm probably I imagine it would be Kelly that'll answer the phone, so I'll follow up to make sure that you did in fact receive it because I do want to make sure. You, you're aware that this is going on and again i'd appreciate any feedback that you would have on these little videos that i make talk to you soon